fabrics are a huge part of our lives. From the clothes we wear to the space we live and working, our bodies are constantly surrounded by synthetic fabrics, chemical dyes, and boring compositions. Modern commercial designs may be economical but often lack the character and quality of handmade fabrics. But what if there was a naturally breathable, hypoallergenic and eco-friendly material that happened to be handmade and surprisingly affordable? Well, you are in luck, because Iran has the right choice for you. Its name is Qalamkar. My name is Parinas, and I'm going to show you how these stunning fabrics are made. This soft and colorful fabric was perfected centuries ago within the Royal Persian Court workshops and used by the royalty as decorations, clothing, and even as gifts for political favors. Using a series of wooden stamps to design patterns throughout the fine cotton fabrics, Iranian hand blank printing, or Qalamkar, has over time become a big part of everyday Iranian life. Finally, we are going to show you how to utilize Qalamkar in the bedroom, the living room, the outdoors, and even as clothing. Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe to Tap Persia's YouTube channel so you can see what Iran is really like. Did you do it? Awesome! Let's go see how these versatile, comfortable, and organic products are made. History and Overview of Qalamkar the process of Qalamkar, or hand block printing, brings fabric specialists, woodworkers, and artists all together in a perfect collaborative relationship. Before hand block stamps were introduced into workshops, Qalamkar used to be made using fine brushes. These pieces were extremely detailed, yet took a massive amount of time to complete and were often too pricey. To compensate, Popular designs were standardized and expertly carved into soft blocks of wood. Although this new hand block printing process resulted in reduced artistic expression, it rapidly industrialized production while retaining the best elements of classic hand drawn designs. The process of hand block production and printing was perfected in Iran over 400 years ago within the Royal Savavid Court workshops of the capital city of Esfahan. These workshops produced some of the finest clothes the world had seen at that time. As the Safavid Empire's influence touched upon neighboring kingdoms, the art of Qalamkar quickly spread. Although over the last couple hundred years the art form has become popular in China and India with massive production workshops in both countries, Iranian Qalamkar still retains its unique styles and characteristics. Where can Qalamkar be found? Although the term Qalamkar is heavily associated with Esfahan, where major production centers still exist, the art form was commonly known in many other cities such as Burjer, Shiraz, Rasht, Semnan, Gonabad, Mashhad, Damqan, Najafabad, Kashan, Yazd, and Hamedan. Even today, the city of Isfahan features extremely productive workshops both inside and on the outer skirts of the city. Naqsh Jahan Bazar features some of the biggest workshops and stores with massive collections in Iran. Qalam Karinis font is typically seen around other Iranian handcrafts such as carpets, tie, and miniatures. All these art forms follow similar styles and motifs, emulating the elegance of nature and classical Persian philosophies of life. However, unlike the other art forms which offer very specific utilities, Qalamkar fabrics offer the grace and elements of classical Persian design with much more versatility in their everyday use. What kind of fabric is used in Qalamkar? Qalamkar is made from calico, an untreated form of cotton that does not undergo as much bleaching and other finishes that cotton fabrics normally go through. It still contains some of the starch from weaving and has a slightly stiff handle. Much like hemp, bamboo, and rami, Calico is an extremely eco-friendly textile with a plain weave and thick threads. 
The material is durable, dense, and great for everyday use. Not only is Caligo fabric made from these fibers biodegradable, it has minimal environmental impacts. Calico has a rather low crushability, meaning it's easy to iron and maintains its color and brightness even after multiple washes. Because Caligo is made from 100% cotton, it's also hypoallergenic. The material also breathes easily, allowing it to adapt itself to all levels of moisture and temperature. Making the wooden hand block stamps. The main part of Galamkar is the wooden blocks used in hand printing process. Before the block can be made, an artist creates the multiple layers of designs necessarily to create each color on the pattern. Each color has its own unique stamp, which, combined together, creates elaborate designs. Once the patterns have been determined, it's up to make the actual blocks. The most durable stamps are made from pear and hawthorn. Once the wood has been dried in sawdust, multiple blocks are glued together to create a stamp that can later be easily repaired. Then, when the stamp is clean and inspected, it's ready for about 5 to 10 years of use. Most of the patterns you see in the market have been passed down over hundreds of years, but you can also find a variety of newer, more modern designs as well. What kind of design do Persian hand block prints have? Inspiration behind these mesmerizing works of art are drawn from all across Iranian history and culture. Architecture, specifically tile work, often found in mosques, nomadic and urban carpet designs, and even historical events and figures are commonly used. The paisley design is also a common theme used in many Galamkar designs. Known in Iran as a butte, paisley is a representation of the holy cypress tree, a Zoroastrian symbol of life and eternity. The bent cypress, the common shape of the paisley, is also a sign of strength, resistance, and modesty and was used to decorate royal regalia, crowns, and the court garments. More modern pieces may be more monochromatic and feature designs that are a lot more simplistic or repetitive. How is Qalamkar actually made? The production of Qalamkar takes several steps and over 30 different pairs of hands to complete. The steps include the preparation of the raw cotton fabrics known as calico, the stamp design, the printing process and the color setting and drying process. The stamping process starts with the darkest color, normally black, which is used to determine the outline of the subsequent stamps. This is done by the most experienced stampers. Then up to seven different colors may be used to fill in the empty black outlines, each applied with its own unique stamps. Even today, a noticeable portion of colors used in Galamkar are sourced naturally from plants and minerals. To make sure the paint is permanently attached to the fabric, the Qalamkar fabrics are heated with steam and laid in the sun to dry. What kind of Qalamkar merchandise can I find? Modern artists have fashioned the material into a variety of formats and purposes. While the fabrics are traditionally used as garments or as covers, their applications have multiplied over time. You can buy Qalamkar in the following formats. As a small carpet for your floor, as a picnic throw rug or a prayer rug if you are Muslim, a cover for the table or couches, as bed sheets, as a bag for your groceries, as curtains for the windows, decorative napkins for the dinner table, and traditional clothing. I hope you guys have a better understanding of how Galamkar is made. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to write them in the comment section below this video. See you in the next one.